Okay, so as you know, I'm having an awesome time making this Warrior Dads podcast for everybody out there. But when I was trying to get my podcast off the ground, I wanted to know where to start. I wanted to know, you know, how do I do an episode? How do I record everything? How do I get it on different platforms, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, etc.? And then I found out about Anchor. And Anchor is really a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and then even monetizing. And best of all, it's 100% free. And it's really, really 100% ridiculously easy to use. Uh, it, it just made it so seamless for me to record my episode, upload my episode, and now you can even edit your episode within the Anchor app on your phone. So that makes it even more simple to get the right clip for your uh, podcast episode and then just stream it right away. So if you've always wanted to start a podcast and you're thinking about getting into podcasting, I would definitely look into Anchor. And all you have to do is go to anchor.fm slash start to join me and the other diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. So again, that's anchor.fm slash start. And if you choose to use it, I can't wait to start listening to your podcast. Go check it out. Being a dad isn't always easy, but it's the best thing I ever did. I'm constantly improving myself to be the best dad I can be through fitness, nutrition, mindset, and lifestyle. As fathers, we pass on many things to our children, such as our mindset, our habits, our attitude, and what we've learned along the way. Each of these will shape who our children are and who they will become. The Warrior Dad's mission is to help you become the healthiest version of yourself, to hone your edge, and to live with purpose. My name is Jim Bartomey, and this is the Warrior Dads Podcast. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another episode of the Warrior Dads Podcast. Today I'm talking with Anthony Kusa, who is the owner of Dad Bod Apparel, uh, which is a really, really cool line of dad gear with shirts and tank tops and hats. Uh, you got to go check it out, and uh, I'm actually going to give you a promo code towards the end of this where uh, you can save a little bit of money. So uh, Anthony started Dad Bod Apparel a little over a year ago. He lives in Sacramento, California with his wife, Catherine, and their one-year-old Hudson. He, they are expecting a baby girl at the end of April, early March. So <laughs> who knows when that is, right? It's just yeah, up exactly. in the air. But um, So Anthony – Welcome to the Warrior Dads Podcast. Thanks so much for making some time to come on. Hey, Jim. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. I, I, I see your posts on Instagram all the time where <laughs> so many people all around the country and the world wearing the dad bought apparel. So um, really, really cool designs. I love, I was actually just telling you, I just love the new hat that came out with the American flag on the side of the hat. Really cool design. Thank um, you. Tell everybody a little bit about why you started the dad bought apparel tell them a little bit about it and the backstory absolutely so like you mentioned it, i started about a little over a year ago the backstory behind it was my wife and i had been trying to get pregnant for a while and once we found out we were pregnant with our son a lot of my buddies started giving me a hard time um, i've always been into fitness and into nutrition and i actually competed a little bit in physique competitions oh nice so i've always been you know a gym rat for lack of a better term and right. you know concerned with my diet and everything so once we found out we were pregnant a lot of my buddies started giving me a hard time and saying you know stop worrying about work working out stop worrying about your diet and start working on your dad bod and it just kind of clicked where i'm like you know what that's you know, bogus not... man that's bogus yeah, exactly you know i'm like there's not really i know plenty of dads that are fit i know plenty of guys that compete that are that have kids i'm like you know there's not really anything out there for dads um all the gym apparel that you see are all the same big three companies. So there's not really anything that kind of is geared towards dads or geared towards parents that is fashionable that you can wear in the gym or you could wear out to dinner, out to coffee or whatever you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, all the stuff that I see my wife wearing or the, the women's side of things are all kind of cheesy, corny, you know, things that I would never wear personally. Right. So, you know, I kind of thought there's gotta be a, a market out there for, guys parents that want fashionable cool simple design stuff that they'd be proud to show that they're a dad and that's kind of where it birthed yeah i mean you got so many like really unique designs i mean you got the dad vibes shirt you know uh, family first you know so you got great messages on there Thank and it, it it's almost like looking at this makes you want to go work out right because <laughs> you know the it's the dad it's the d and the b right you got dad bought apparel and then you got a dumbbell 
yeah. right? And then a and pacifier, pacifier, right? So it's a constant yeah. reminder yeah. that it's like, hey, you know, and you're even putting on the shirts, like family comes first. You, you have a shirt that, you know, leave your legacy and it kind of looks like almost like half of the Superman logo. Is that is that yeah, what that's so supposed that, to be? Well, so that one actually is pretty cool. So that's a collaboration we did with Dads of Steel. Um, Dave is a great guy and we've been in contact pretty much like he started his page I believe a little bit before I did or a little bit after. Um, I'm not sure exactly, but his is just pretty much showcasing dads all around the world. Okay. Uh, also geared towards fitness and, you know, fit active dads, but just dads in general. And so we had talked about doing a collaboration and our, our slogan or our motto is leave your legacy, which is kind of, you know, what do you want your legacy to be in life with your family, et cetera. Right. And so his logo is actually that shield. So we took the shield, took the leave your legacy, made the shirts. And what's unique about those or what's cool about them is 100% of the profits on those shirts are going to go to two great causes locally for me in Sacramento. I'm going to take as much money as we make off those and go buy as many toys as I can and bring them to Shriners Hospital um, in Sacramento, which is a kid's hospital. And then the other chunk we're going to, I'm going to send out to Dave and he's going to donate it to this awesome orphanage out in Chicago, which is where he lives. Um, so those shirts are definitely a unique thing that we have for this month to try to make a difference around Christmas time for kids that may be going through a hard time or don't really have a family. So, Dude, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. I love that. And I did notice that on your site. Um, I didn't know it, you know, it just says hundred percent of the proceeds will be donated to Shriners hospital, but you know, buying the, buying the toys for the kids, especially around this time, that's that's amazing, man. Congratulations on doing that. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, but I mean, just like some of the other things, you know, it's so. What I was going to say before is that it almost motivates you to go work out, right? To live <laughs> to live that healthy lifestyle. It's like, it's just that constant reminder. You know, if somebody buys the dad life hat, right, or you know the 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 dad bod apparel. It's just kind of that constant reminder. It's like you know what? Let me let me do the things I need to do as a dad. You know what I mean? And so like, yeah. when, you know, when you, when you had people telling you, okay, you know, start working on your dad bod, there are other people out there that would have been like, oh yeah, yeah. I'll just, you know, it'll give me an opportunity to you know drink more beer or just mm -hmm. sit around and do this. And it's like having, having that attitude and that mindset of like, hell no, that's ridiculous. Like I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get to that level or, you know, allow myself to drop down like that. I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, how, how do you, how do you, how do you, how do you portray that to other dads? Like, you know, how do you, how do you motivate other men, you know, obviously besides your apparel, it's like, yo, get out there and do the things you need to do to keep yourself fit. I mean, now, you know, you said you were a physique model right. and you're still, you still look really good. Not a model. I, not a model. Oh, not, not a model. Just not, competing. Uh, competing. <laughs> not there yet, man. No. So actually what I was going to say is I kind of jumped the guns. Like you model some of your clothes, right? Cause you're in some yeah, of these pictures, yeah. you know, holding the, yeah. the baby carrier and stuff like that. Right. You know, so obviously you're still in really good shape, but you don't have to be uh, a physique competitor to be a dad, right? No. It's not all about just having a six pack as a dad, no. but it's just like, you know, be a functional, strong man exactly. for, for your, for your kids and your family. Like, tell me it, why you think that's important. It's just a balance, honestly. Like, and that's the biggest misconception that I think a lot of, cause I'll get messages or I'll get comments like, Oh, you know, I got to work out first before I can go get some of your clothes or I got to get in better shape before <laughs> I can get some of your clothes. And I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I appreciate that, but at the same time, it's, you know, you don't have to, like you said, you don't have to have a, I don't have a six pack. I mean, my abs are just, when I competed, they were the last thing to come in and the first thing to go. I'm just not blessed with genetics in my abs. That is literally where I store every gram of fat. So, right. <laughs> um, you know, but I mean, it's just about having balance, you know, and, and I enjoy, I enjoy drinking. I enjoy having a beer, a glass of wine or whatever. And especially having a kid. I mean, we all need a glass of wine or a beer at the end of the day. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's not about like being in the gym nonstop 24 seven. It's more about just being healthy and doing things that are going to create a better lifestyle for you and your kids and for your family so that you're around longer. So, you know, it's not, you know, it's not the brand for guys that just want to barbecue, drink beers and watch football all day. I'm not saying don't do that. I do that as well, but I'm saying, you know, have a balance. That's all it is. It's just right. a balance in life of, you know, even if it's not even going to the gym, but taking your kids on a walk or going on a bike ride with them or something like that, where you're out spending time with them, then by all means. But if it's, you know, for me, my, my sanctuary and kind of where I get my 
break from the day is going to the gym for an hour, hour and a half. So I do that and then it's back to home life. So, you know, that's the biggest misconception. And I think that, um, and I think that, you know, I didn't, obviously I didn't intend or the vision wasn't, Hey, my clothings or my hat or whatever are going to motivate people, but it has, you know, I know people will say, Oh, it's like, I got to wear the dumbbells, deadlifts and diaper shirt to the gym. And I'm like, that's great. You know, that's all. Yeah. So, but it's fun. So. I even love the, uh, the flannel that you guys came out with, man. That's, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Dad bought a power, was... the flannel on the back and then dad life on the back. Yeah. Or the, 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 the logo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so um, we did that one obviously for the holiday season. Yeah. Uh, so we have a couple of pop-ups that we have coming up in the Bay and, um, you know, figured those would do well. So we did those. I mean, it's just, again, just trying to do things that are fun, that are fashionable, that would resonate with parents where, you know, like the camo jacket, the camo windbreaker we came out with. I have a windbreaker just like that, that I wear all the time. And I love. So for me, you know, making one of those was a no brainer. Like I love mine. I'm going to make one of those that looks cool for parents. So sure. That's kind of been the, the MO with anything that comes out. Yeah. Um, you know, you mentioned sitting around and watching the game or having beers and stuff like that. But then you also mentioned getting out, being with your kids or just going to the gym and getting some lifts in. Like, I just feel like that's, that's the mindset. It's like, okay, instead of just sitting around, earn that time to sit down on the couch and relax, right? right? Whether, whether it's yeah. with your family and your kids or something like that, but it's like, okay, you can feel good about, you know, we went for a hike as a family today, or, right. you know, I went to the gym, I got some great reps in, I really challenged myself, I made myself sweat. Now I get to sit down and, you know, on a Sunday or something like that and have that day of rest. Um, Absolutely. And it just kind of relax, right? I mean, that's just the, the, the mindset and the mentality. But, you know, so, so from going to being a competitive, um, you know, being in competition, I guess you say, like in physique mm-hmm. competitions, and then you have, um, a one-year-old, right? And then you're having another one on the way, which congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And, you know, how, how did you find that balance? What was the one thing? Because I'm sure you were probably <laughs> a lot more regimented when you were doing the competitions. And then all of a sudden, it's like, okay, here's this transition. So what was the best way that you found your balance? And if there's anybody else out there who's in a similar situation or just anyone trying to find balance in general? You know, I mean, I think the biggest thing is just getting started. Um, there's never going to be a perfect time for anything. Um, Mm -hmm. And the hardest part, you know, even if it's losing weight or going to the gym or whatever the case is, is just getting started. I also have a, um, you know, I have a full-time job that I do as well. This isn't it. So I do sales full-time, which is, you know, a job in and of itself. So it's just, it's just, is, that, is there a travel associated with that job? A lot of driving. A lot okay. of driving. Lot of um, driving. Yeah. So it's just, it's just making the time, you know? And so right now during the holidays, it's been insane. And I tell my wife, I'm like, you know, literally the only time right now that I'm actually feet up relaxing is when we go to bed. But from sun up till then, it's either I'm driving, I'm sitting and eating, or I'm at the gym, or I'm doing orders, or I'm responding to comments or emails so it's it's non-stop and then when i get home it's packing orders and hang out with little man for a little bit and then bath time bedtime you know so it's non-stop and for me i thrive off of that i like that um mm-hmm. i would rather be like that than not have anything to do so i don't mind it but it's just making the time and that's what i think a lot of people the biggest excuse i hear all the time or when I was competing and my friends or family would be like, Oh, what did you do? Like, can you send me a diet? Can you send me a workout plan? I'd send them a diet and be like, but I really love food. I'm like, everybody loves food. Like <laughs> find me one person that doesn't love food. Especially you know, in like, Italian, right? Yeah. I mean, everyone <laughs> loves food. So it's like, yeah. like that's not an excuse. Like, of course it's just, you have to find the discipline to not do it. Same thing with like anything else or going to the gym. The biggest excuse you hear about not going to the gym. So I don't have the time. And, um, you know, I've met a lot of amazing dads through this platform, which has been great. And um, a lot of them are trainers, a lot of them are online personal trainers, whatever. And there's some great programs that are just 
you know, you can find 15, 20 minutes a day at home to just do something that will get your heart rate up, that'll do move blood, that does that, you know. So that's, I think, the biggest thing for me is just the excuse of I don't have enough time or there's not enough time or, you know, whatever the case is. You know, you have to you have to make it. You have to force yourself or find the time. So what do you do? Do you actually like schedule something? Do you have, do you, do you put it on your calendar, you, you know, know, whether I, it's on I, your phone or do you yeah. just set an alarm for yourself on your phone or how do you make that time? How do you actually like, you know, forge that time into your calendar? I mean, for me, it's actually all in my head. Um, I just know I'm very, I'm very down to the minute. I time things out. Like I know it'll take me 30 minutes to get from here to there. That'll put me at such and such spot at eight thirty. Then I'll take, 20 minutes to be in there and then I'll be at, so like, that's how I kind of schedule my day Yeah, internally. Um, so that's why if something's running late or whatever the case is, like it drives me nuts because I have my entire day regimented in that because I'm like, I don't have, I don't have the time to be inefficient or to like not be doing something. Right. right. And so that's kind of how I do it. I mean, I set my alarm every morning. I go to the gym, I do cardio. That's kind of how I start my day. Um, that's also how I get caught up on Instagram with messages or comments. And then, um, and then I go through my day and then when I get home in the afternoon is when I try to get all the orders out. My goal is to get every order out that day or at worst the next day. Um, so that takes a lot of work because my whole mentality is if you buy it, you're already excited about it. I want it to show up on your doorstep within the week that you bought it. So that way you're like even more stoked. Nice. So there's obviously exceptions and things that happen that I can't do that. But for the most part, that's what I try to do. Yeah. I mean, if somebody puts it in on a Saturday, you know, then yeah. it's, it's a little yeah. different. They're not getting it, right. you know, that right. day. Um, but I like that. I like that mindset. I mean, it's just, you know, you, you're, you're thinking about the customer and you're like, yeah, they're already excited about getting it. They can't wait for it to show up because they're so stoked to get it, put it on or wash it and then put it on. Right. I think that's awesome. I mean, yeah, I just think about it. I always think about it again because I'm in sales and I'm a consumer myself. So I think about myself, what brands do I like? What brands resonated with me? Who, what companies do things well? I mean, Apple does a phenomenal job. Other companies and brands as well. So I'm like, okay, the, the thing for me that drives me nuts is when I buy something, I'm stoked on it or I'm excited to get it. And then it takes two, three weeks to get to you and you're, you even forgot you ordered it. You're like, right. oh, yeah, forgot about that. Yeah, so, right. You know, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Yeah. I mean, usually I know how I am as a consumer. It's like I order something and then I'm checking the shipping or the, the tracking yeah, on yeah. it, you know, right, right. when's it going to be here? What's going to be, I just ordered yeah. a, uh, a rogue sandbag, you know, one of those yeah. strongman sandbags yeah. yep. and I'm tracking the shipping and earlier in the week, it said it would be here Thursday, meaning today. And yeah. then I actually went up getting it yesterday. So I'm getting oh. like, Oh man, this is like Christmas, you know, it's yeah, like, yeah. I can't wait yeah. to go to home Depot and buy some sand and put that in there. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, I like that. I like that mentality. And I, I, I resonate with what you're saying about, you know, knowing how long it's going to take to get here and to get there. Like I, I wear a watch with a stopwatch on it. So I'll time myself with certain, certain things and know like, oh, our, okay. yeah, like, like, uh, what's his face? Denzel Washington, the equalizer. <laughs> so that's what I kind of yeah. like attribute it to. If you've ever seen that that's movie, so but he's always yeah, like, yeah, you know, long time ago. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's awesome, man. So, um, so what's next for, what's next for the brand? What else are you guys working on? So you had that, you had that collabor collaboration for the holidays and doing the, the give back um, for Shriners and the uh, SOS out in Illinois. Yep. What, what else are you guys coming out with? Or is that classified right now? <laughs> no, I mean, it's going to be some more apparel. We have some new shirt designs coming. We have some new hats coming. We actually have some awesome, we have some awesome hats for the dads that are, that we worked on with new era um, they're a stretch snap, so they're kind of the best of both worlds. They're a snapback, but then they have a little bit of elastic on the sides. So you really, don't have that, I don't think I've know. ever seen a hat like that. They're the only ones that make it, man. So they're, wow. yeah, it's a, they're super comfortable. So you're going to get that perfect fit. You know, you won't get that line across your forehead that you get with snapbacks or with certain other hats. So, um, those should be coming soon. Um, we have some new designs we'll do at the beginning of the year as well. And then we just put in an order to do some new mom life hats as well. So we'll have those probably in February or so. Um, and then we'll see. I mean, I want to definitely kind of dabble and see what else is out there in the parent world that we can get into um, versus just apparel. So we'll see. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think at one point I saw on a picture, 
Uh, did you guys have like a diaper bag or something like that too? No. So that was, that's a tactical baby gear bag. Um, oh, okay. Beave is the owner of them. And I mean, it's, you know, the coolest diaper bag out there right now for dads. It's kind of like an art, um, if you will, like an ammo style, you know, military style diaper bag. Yeah. And, uh, he was awesome in, in helping with questions I had when I was kind of getting going. And so he i he's worn some of our stuff i have one of his bags they're great and so yeah that's his bag okay for some reason i thought i saw dad bod apparel on it or something like that but maybe a no i had a a shirt yeah i had a shirt or a hat lean up against it so gotcha there you go okay um i mean so you know you're juggling two jobs right i mean you have a business you were you know dad bod and then you're in a sales job where you're out all the time i mean what are you what are you eating while you're on the road, like how, where do you find the time to, you know, have that good food? And you I know, usually are you pack, okay. So you're packing, yeah. you're packing yeah. your stuff and eating on the road. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you just eat in your car, like driving around with a lunchbox in your car with a couple of cooler packs or how does that work? Exactly. Or are you just going that, into like a Starbucks or something no, like that and buying a That's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I mean, uh-huh. and that's, and that's not that bad though, right? It's not. And honestly, I got used to it from prep. When I would compete, that's what, you know, you have to have like seven, eight meals a day or whatever it was. And it's so timed where it's like every hour and a half you're eating or two hours. But you so don't do that me, anymore. To, no, 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 no. I actually switch. I kind of do some sort of a keto diet. Um, I'm not super strict or neurotic on it, but I just noticed my body doesn't react well to carbs. Mm-hmm. So for me, I just eat, I don't really eat any carbs at all. And I just eat higher fats and protein and vegetables. And, you know, I feel great. I look better than I did when I was measuring out every single bit of carbs that I was eating. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I feel like you have, like you, like you mentioned before in the beginning, it's like you have to find that balance, right? And whether you're finding the balance with your fitness routine or your nutrition or just your work-life balance, you know, finding that balance. So if you're feeling better now that you did now than when you were counting everything out, that's huge, right? I mean, just for your well-being, like you're talking about being here for your kids when they're when they're older, you know, just being involved in their life. Yeah, I mean, also, I mean, it's not worth. I think what a lot of people don't realize it is everything, no matter what it is or who you're looking at, is takes time and is habitual, right? Like professional athletes to get to where they were, they have their own habits and their own routines they go through. Um, bodybuilders that you see that are massive, they have their own habits and their routines that you go through. And the same is true if it's on the negative side. You know, when you get off of a routine or off a habit or you gain weight, there is a habit or routine that got you to that point where you gained weight. You know, so everything, no matter if you're trying to lose weight or trying to get back in the gym or whatever the case is, is breaking a habit to form another habit, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm curious, these these guys, I'm assuming you probably still talk to them, the ones that, you know, when you found out that you were having your son and they're saying, oh, yeah. oh, get ready for the dad bod. And then they're the reasons that you launched this whole power. I'm sure they, do they know that story? Do they know the whole background? It was like, like, wow, we're the ones that inspired you to do this whole, this <laughs> whole know, thing. I, don't know that they, I mean, I don't know that they necessarily know that they were the people that said certain, like said work on your dad bod or whatever it is, yeah, yeah. you know, but, but you still talk to those, they, those people. Even, oh yeah. They're all friends from college and high school. And then so. W- what's, so what's the, uh, what are the comments now? You know, where it's like, obviously, you don't have the quote unquote they get, they dad bod. Hats. They what? I said they buy clothes and hats. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, right. I'm kidding. Um, Full price. <laughs> um, no, nothing. I mean, it's, you know, it's been, it's, I'm still obviously in shape and they still, they'll still have questions or ask for routines or whatever the case is. But, you know, it's. Do you feel like that's inspired them a little bit? Like some of the apparel and just, you know, the way that maybe, you've continued to live your life and the way the physique that you continue to have to, you know, that you choose to have for yourself, you know, has that inspired them at all? Or have you seen like a transformation in them at all? Maybe a couple of them. I mean, again, like it wasn't, it was something that I took more internally than necessarily they did. You right. know, so like it was probably on there and just a comment in passing. And for me, I took it and internalized it, but right. Yeah. But if you think like someone might have actually said that to them when they were about right. to have their kids. Right. right? And then, yeah. but they conform to it. Right. And right. you not conforming to it and actually, well, one doing something about it. And like you said, if they don't, if they don't know that they're the reason that's fine, but 
they're seeing like, wow, Anthony's doing this. Maybe I can do that too. And now you kind of become the leader, you know, and just the, the example that you're setting for them. And it's like, wow, you know, he's doing it. That once that makes me want to do it too. You know what yeah. I mean? So I didn't know if you had seen any of that. Cause sometimes we see that in our lives where it's like, you know, we we're the ones kind of sticking out from the crowd and we're, sure. we're, we're saying things differently. We're doing things differently. We look differently and people recognize that and they say, wow, what are you doing to do that? Or, you know, like you said, they'll, they'll ask you questions every now and then. And maybe that's a sign, you know, that they, you know, maybe look up to you in a certain way or yeah. just trying to emulate what you're doing. It's like, you know, having that inspiration in them. Yeah, man. I mean, I'll be honest. I never really thought about it that way. So, yeah. oh, well, there you go, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Step into that leader, that leader yeah, role, yeah. right? Exactly. Um, I, I love that. I love that. Um, and uh, I was, I had something else on uh, on my mind. Oh, so, um, it was it had something to do with social media because you are like really active on social media. So it's just like I'm trying to find the time for me to post you know, and just try to stay relevant, but you know, you're on the road and you can't really be, you know, posting too much while you're driving down the road and then you're getting orders out and then you're, you're meal prep. Oh, that's what I was talking about. So when do you, um, when do you meal prep? Do you meal prep the day before? Do you just do a crap ton of, uh, cooking on Sundays and then just, you know, carry that throughout the week or what do you do? It's usually whatever my wife and I make the night before, you know? So like it's a lot of Turkey chicken, that kind of stuff. And yeah, for her and Hudson, they'll have they'll make pasta and I'll just have like the turkey meat with pasta sauce without the actual pasta and so then I'll just and then we have a salad so it's just whatever we eat the night before I'll take leftovers and eat it the rest of the day so I mean we go through a lot of food but it's usually just from a day or two before and yeah. then cook again um and I was actually just about to ask you any like kids life stuff but I see you have things more for babies but any kind of like kids life stuff coming out so we do have we have the we have some snapbacks right now that are out for kids. Um, it just says Team No Sleep on them, and so those are the kids snapbacks. And then for actual kids, I mean, we do have shirts that'll go up to two T or three T, but mm-hmm. I don't know about anything older, just because then you start really getting into a ton of different sizes, and that's the hardest part is yeah. not having a ton of SKUs and a ton of different sizes and options. So. I mean, obviously down the road, sure, that would be great. But for now, nothing in the foreseeable future of, of kid stuff. Yeah. One of the shirts that I just recently saw. So I just, uh, my best friend just asked me for the second time to be a godfather to his newest son that he's about to, or that, oh, they, awesome. just, that they just had. Yeah. So he has four boys now and wow. um, I'm a godfather yeah. to his second son. Yeah. And now, um, soon to be his fourth son because the christenings uh, at the end of January. So anyway, I was looking on, on here and I saw the dumbbells, deadlifts and dirty diaper shirt. Yeah. I'm like, Oh my gosh, that's all. Cause it's in 12 months and 18 months. Right. So, um, you know, yeah, that my, my son's six, so I can't, I can't, you know, yeah, you can't go there. Right? <laughs> I can't go there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that would be, uh, that would be really cool. If, yeah, um, that was a move off of the, um, off the, triple d shirt that we have the dumbbells deadlifts and diapers so yeah if you add that and then i mean you know parents and my wife and everybody like they like to be matchy and so that's also why we came out with a baby cub shirt that has the knuckles just like the mama bear and the papa bear right right so, no i yeah. love that because that's actually my wife and i to a t so you have the um the picture with the dad life flannel and the mom life flannel and then yeah. is that is that you guys right that's hudson that you're holding their hands or is that somebody which, completely else which there's a so there's one that i put up this was just recently that you can only see the back yeah and you can only see us. that's not you there's oh another actually one no you know before. what i'm looking at the hair now of the child that looks like a little girl <laughs> never yeah. mind um yeah so we we do that all the time with other things so like if we all wear like you know blue tops and you know jeans or something like great yeah. great jeans or you know we'll do it's like the running joke in the family and we'll show up somewhere and be like oh the bird of me's are matching again, you know, yeah. it's just like the thing. So yeah, I love man. that you have that opportunity because other people, yeah. we've seen other people do that. I was like, yeah, we, we, we coordinate the colors too. And sometimes people just ask us, did you guys, do you guys coordinate your outfits? And I, said, right. and I said, no, we just told, you know, we tell Jimmy to go put on whatever he wants. And then we just come out of the closet and this is the way we look. And it just works out that way. That's funny. And I say a real, you know, real straight face. I'm like, really? I was like, no, no, we, we coordinate yeah. everything. You know, it's like, yeah. it's, it's actually a pain to buy, right. uh, you know, because 
it matched. Yeah. Yeah, to match your stuff and to try to yeah. try to get the exact color. So it's cool that you know you just go on one one website and you can get um, something for you know moms, dads, and uh, and kids. That's awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, man. So um, so tell tell people where they can find all of this stuff. Tell, tell them yeah. you know, the website and Instagram and and all that sure. stuff. Sure. So the website is dadboughtapparel.com, One word. Um, we're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. Facebook is just dadboughtapparel. On Instagram, it's dadbod underscore apparel. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, we're, if you're local, if you're in the Northern California area, shoot us a message. I'm very approachable. So if you have questions or if you have anything that you're curious about, shoot me a message, DM, leave a comment, appreciate all the feedback. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to have a promo code on the website, like Jim mentioned. So if you're listening, use warrior dads, one word, um, all lowercase, and that'll get you 10% off the website. Yeah, and I really appreciate that. That's awesome. And, yeah. you know, for anybody listening, they have so many cool things. You know, we've already mentioned the flannel that they have and, and the T-shirt. So one says dad vibes. Vibes is upside down and dad's like on a diagonal. It's so, so cool. They even have golf stuff. So there's golf hats here, yeah. you know, half camo, and you know, camo in the front, black in the back, trucker hats with the mesh, which I actually love those kinds of hats. So I think I'm actually going to probably pick one of those up. And, you know, just all these different ways you have, you know, dad life on there. I don't know what would you call that the black dad life snapback, like that different kind of logo. Oh, the leather, like a... the leather patch. Yeah. the le- yeah. yeah. Oh, those is that leather? Are, yeah. Those are real leather patches that are laser etched. So yeah. That's really cool. So yeah. where, who, who uh, is the company that you use local to you in, in California? For so all this stuff? actually, yes, all three. So I have three, I have a screen printer who's local in, in Sacramento. Yeah. Um, I have one embroider who does some of my hats. And he's in Southern California. And then the, the guy who does the leather hats, he's located in the L.A. area. So, yeah, everybody's in California. Um, they've all kind of been with me since day one. So for me, I've stayed loyal to them as well just because I appreciate I wouldn't be where I'm at now without them. So, yeah. That's awesome. And the people that you work with, they know about the brand and all? Yeah, they do. Yeah. You you wear the stuff to work? You can't wear it to no, work? No, no, I can't. Walking out walk with a – Oh, you wear scrubs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm thinking. Yeah, you, so you know, I'm thinking like sales. You got a tie on, or you know. No, uh, I do device sales, medical device. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. At least you could wear maybe like the dumbbells deadlift shirts underneath of the scrubs, <laughs> right? Yeah. But yeah, I'm actually zooming in on this leather patch here, and that's really that's really nice looking. Like you said, it's uh, etched in. Yeah. That looks like it's really high quality. It is. It's the same with the beanies as well. The beanies that just came out, those are a leather patch in the front. They're laser etched as well. Awesome. Mm-hmm. This is awesome, man. And I and I love that it's just it's so inspiring for dads and now for moms. And then, you know, just to kind of live that life, live that balanced life, get out there, um, you know, be in that mindset of just being a healthier dad. And then, you know, it's it's kind of like almost counterintuitive, right? Like dad bod apparel, like you're fighting against the dad bod, right? right. Or, or or not really fighting against it, you're redefining it. That's exactly what it is. And that's what, you know, I see a lot of pages out there and I see a lot of like comments and whatever that just says anti-dad bot or, or say no to dad bot or dads against dad bot or whatever it is. Right. And I'm like, I have a dad bot because I'm a dad and I have a body. Right. This is a dad bot. I want everyone to think like of this is the new dad bot. Yeah. Let's raise, raise the standard and change the definition of what a dad bot actually is. Exactly. And, you know, empower men and dads and all that and just you know say like no like this is that's not what it's going to be that's what people used to define it as before and now this is the new way yep exactly so i love it anthony that's so Thank great you man so, much. Appreciate that. so before we uh before we let you go i uh yeah. we always end every episode with 10 questions for our guest, and these okay. uh these questions are inspired by james lipton and bernard favo and we've already kind of done a quick rundown um so you ready yes sir all right who is your hero? I would have to say my dad. Nice. What excites you? Success. What turns you off? Excuses. I like that. What is your favorite sound? <laughs> my son's laugh. <laughs> That's mine too. Yeah. What is your least favorite? I don't sound? think any. I don't think any parents would say anything otherwise. <laughs> um, what is your least favorite sound? now our dogs bark (laughs) what's your favorite quote or saying this too shall pass 
Who said that? Do you know? It's a Bible verse. Um, but my mom always told me that. But it's come to mean, for me, it's been, she always told me that during hard times. Mm-hmm. Um, where it's just, don't worry, this too shall pass. But for me, it's also come to also represent good times as well. So for me to enjoy it because the good times or the enjoyment or whatever it is will also pass. So for me, it's taken a double meaning, but yeah, it's a Bible first. I love that. Don't take anything for granted, basically. Yep. Yeah. In a couple words, what should a dad be? Authentic, genuine, and supportive. And in a couple words, what should a dad not be? Something he's not. If you could try any other profession, what would it be? Uh, I'd probably try to do a, be a personal trainer. Okay. And finally, what would you like to be remembered for? I think, I mean, obviously it'd be great to be remembered for building a great brand that is well known. Um, but I think also more than that, someone who used it to make a difference as well as just was able to do everything. I like it. I like it a lot. Anthony, thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy schedule of running a business, (laughs) doing sales, being a father. Um, I know we've been trying to really nail down a time for this, so I really appreciate yeah, I you taking the time. No, no, it's fine. I mean, hey, I know life happens. Yeah. I'm busy, you're busy, but I'm just grateful that you know you were willing to take the time out for me um, and for all the listeners uh, to share your story, your brand, your experiences, and uh, and share some of your wisdom. So I really, really appreciate that. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it as well. Yeah. So, uh, again, go to dadbodapparel.com, check out all of their products and you can use the promo code warrior dads, all one word, all lowercase to enjoy 10% off, uh, whatever you find. Um, so it'd be 10% off the whole order. So, um, graciously given to us by Anthony and, uh, yeah. And so once again, congratulations on your baby girl. So it's coming up soon, huh? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be here before you know it. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you have a name picked out or is that secret? Yeah, no, it's Adriana. Adriana, nice. Yeah. Is a is a anyone in your family named that? No. No. Okay. No. Just a just picked a pretty name. Yeah. No, you're saying Adriana or Adriana? Adriana. Adriana. Okay. Yeah. Because my cousin named um, my cousin's daughter uh, is Adriana, but okay. just yeah, a yeah. different just a different pronunciation. But it's a very yeah. beautiful name. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, of course, ma'am. Have a great day. Have a great right. uh, upcoming weekend, and uh, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you on social media. Sounds good. Thank you, sir. You too. Bye. 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 Hey guys, thanks for tuning into this episode of the Warrior Dads podcast. If you like this podcast and want to support it, please subscribe, leave comments, and share it with someone you think would benefit from listening as well. Thanks again, and keep on being a warrior dad.